Welcome everybody, this is Danny Code, and we're going to play a little Astrox Imperium. I really like this game, so I thought I'd put a few episodes up here on YouTube and to see if you guys like it as well. If you guys do, I will definitely, definitely, definitely do a longer, more detailed playthrough. But uh, for now, we're just going to do a few episodes, and we will start with a new campaign. I think that's the way to go here. Now, the new campaign has a little bit of a opening sequence, so I will play that and let you guys watch and I will be right back after that. All right, very cool. So I think new pilot 7711 is adequate. However, I think we can do better. <laughs> uh, let's see. No one can hear you scream. Uh, it's not going to fit. <laughs> so no one can hear you scream in space will not fit. All right, so second choice. We have maybe uh, Rocky. Sounds like a spacey name, right? We have rocks in space. Uh, we can do a little bit better. Well, let's see. Rock, Rocky, Rocky. <laughs> yeah, that'll do just fine. Rocky. Okay. It's <laughs> and let's pick what Rocky looks like. I'm just going to randomize here and see what we get. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. That's Rocky. But that's female. We got a male counterpart. Oh. oh no! I just passed by one that looked that looked good. Oh, I like I like that. Okay, we can do that. That is Rocky, folks. Rocky, meet the folks. Folks, meet Rocky. All right. So I'm just going to pick a faction here. I'm not going to go through all these. If I do happen to do a more full playthrough, we'll go through all of these factions. I invite you guys to kind of look at them on your own. Uh, they're pretty interesting. So. They're pretty cool. I'm just going to go with Alpha here. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Alpha. All right. So the starting profession is, I think, a little bit more important than faction. I'm not too sure about that. So I didn't fact check that. So if, if, if your starting faction is more important than your starting profession, I don't know. But I the starting profession gives you your buffs. For example, we can be a hunter that has a buff on shield recharge rate and attack damage and then it starts with these skills then like prospector or miner will have a gain on additional bonus on mining yields and, and, and whatnot and then it'll start with mining kind of skills here as well but I think what I'm gonna do for this one is gonna be a hunter so hunter is more Offensive, so we have, like I said, more shield recharge rate and attack damage, so that's definitely offensive. And, and I think this is a well-balanced list of 
skills to start with. It doesn't matter what you start with, your, your, prof your profession that you start with, you can always gain these skills, but these are the ones you start with, so you don't have to, you know, you get them right off the gate. So anyways, we'll do that. So we're alpha, so we're into the science guild, or science faction, not guild, <laughs> wrong game. And we're a hunter, so cool. All right, so we start on this space station here, and let's just like first person, like game mode. And apparently on the space station, there is a barber that also does uh, Justin Bieber's hair, because yeah, just saying. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna kind of breeze through this again, and when I do a more detailed playthrough or a longer playthrough, we can go through all these things. But uh, basically. I'm just going to breeze through this, so let me explore. And on the space station, you can just kind of look around with the mouse here, and with the WASD, you can walk around. And these kiosks, what they do is they tell you the history, so they give you the backstory. And they also give you the current state of the universe, or the current state of this local area, universe, whatever. Um, the basic gist of it, there was an exodus from Earth, and these guys were part of that exodus they got they broke down and they got stuck in this part of the galaxy and they split up into factions to better you know develop humanity whatever and now i am one of the last survivors not last survivors but last found last person one of the last people found that survived the uh getting stuck here so all right so that is that and we're gonna go here and talk to this guy again, and we're just gonna go yes on this, and yes, let's start going. So this will just pop you into the space station, and it'll pop you into the tutorial, so the starting the tutorial here. But before we do that, I just kinda wanna zoom into our starting ship here. It's looking pretty cool. And it has this double wing sort of situation going on there, and it also has two hard points. So we have this mining gun here, and we have this offensive I think a laser or beam weapon of some sort and it also has if we go to the garage here it also has a passive slot so we don't have any passive equipment yet but uh, when we do we can put it in that passive slot now this is a very small ship most other ships or like the bigger ships will have more hard points and more passive slots and better uh, stats as far as these are concerned as well so all right so let's start with the tutorial here Wow, it's really such an honor to meet you, Rocky. I was really hoping I would be selected as your instructor. I know this is all confusing, but I can assure you it will all make sense soon enough. I suspect you are ready to get started with your training. There is a lot to learn, and we don't want you to feel overwhelmed. So just take your time and work at your own pace. All right. So... I'm just going to do the short basics tutorial because we'll go over a lot of other things that they would show you otherwise in the tutorials. But we will go over the short uh, basics tutorial here. So the intro tutorial one of three. I understand. I will keep it short and sweet. Let's take a look at the station services on the right. So these are the station services and all the stations in the game have a varying amount of these. So a lot of them will have most of them, some of them will have just a few, etc, etc. So before we can get started earning some credits, you need to install the basic light miner from your cargo bay. Press the tab key. All right. So the tab key is the cargo bay. And by the way, when you have your cargo bay open, you also have when you're parked at a station you have your station storage as well. So you can store things in, in the station as well. So you can just kind of do this. And now it's out of your cargo bay. You have more room in your cargo bay, but I think they charge you a little bit of uh, storage fee. So be aware of that. All right, so you need to install the basic light miner from your cargo bay, press the tab key and open the station garage also. So we were just there. All right, so what she wants us to do is we she wants us to take this generic light laser off 
and add this mining laser. So now we have two mining lasers on, and you can actually see that in the in the, uh, in the view here. It should show you. So it dynamically updates these as well. So if you take that off, it goes like that. If you put it on, it goes like that. So that's the top one. This must be the bottom one. Yeah, so there it is. All right, so we did that. So we must be getting to go on a mining mission, apparently. All right, so drag the basic light light. We did that. Once both mining lasers are installed, we can continue. All right. So when you are ready, click the undock button, and I will be waiting for you on the outside. Now, it is probably a good time to take a look at the ship stats and whatnot. So what she's telling us is that with the Z key brings up the ship stats here in the lower left. And we have these color coded bars and then on the bottom we have our speed. So the color coded bars you can see correspond to these here. So the top one in blue is shield, the green one here is armor, the yellow energy, and the red is support. Red that support one, <laughs> the first time I died in the in Astrox here was because I wasn't paying attention to my support. So that's a very important one. Uh, we'll go over that next time we go into a next time we dock with the station. Uh, but for now, it should be fine. All right. So uh, okay, I'm ready. I have given you a special mission. This mission will require you to locate a particular rock out there in space. Don't worry, it's not far at all. We will then activate the ship's tactical sensors by pressing the space bar. This will show us all the rocks in the sector and color and color the mission rock yellow. Let's go, I'll show you. All right, so let's undock. There we go, so she's saying undock. We'll do that by pressing the undock button. I don't know if there's a shortcut key to the undock button. I, I didn't find it in like the uh, key bindings, but there may be. All right, I'm just gonna go over the, what we're looking at here a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using the right mouse button and I'm clicking and dragging and that will give us a view of whatever's around us and keep our, our ship in the middle. If you zoom all the way in, it, it gives you the cockpit view. So we're now in the ship and we, we can't look around anymore but we can fly around using the WASD key. So if we did this and we can just kind of fly around in free mode here and we can also fly around in free mode when we're like this uh, out looking at the ship as well in uh, third person. So there's that. Okay, so that's how you move around in free mode. But for the most part, what I've found in this game is you're going to be using autopilot for almost everything. So just be aware of that. So there's not going to be a lot of free mode. Not that I've found. There's not going to be a lot of free mode flying. Okay, so hold the right mouse button so we just did that all right so once you get comfortable with the ship camera basics use the space bar will activate the tactical sensors so now if we use space bar now we have this new view which is a tactical view which is really cool so this is just a uh, kind of highlights all the targets all the things that can be targeted anyway so like the rocks are here in this kind of uh, light green then we have the 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 warp, the gates between systems are in this kind of pinkish thing. And then everything else like docked or like uh, sh stations and other types of things are in this blue or this kind of light blue here as well. So, and that's that. So if we click on one of these, like this, uh, this gate here, and we bring up the targeting view, you can see now it is targeted. And the closer things are, the faster it scans them. So if we go to, let's scan this one that's a little further off, you can see it takes a little time to scan it. And that's gonna be another gate to another system. And that is Hunu, I think. Hunu, yep, that's Hunu. So now once we have them scanned though, we can minimize them. And they will be now in our list. So we can only have four active targets. These are the passive targets when they're like this. Active targets are going to be the bigger things here. So these are scanned and then they're active targets. So like we just, I accidentally clicked on this. This dot is actually a ship. So the ships are little dots and which are great because you can't really see them in this, this view here. And so we can just minimize these and the bigger things stay in the list. Smaller things 
will be will still be named in your tactical view but they won't be in the list so you can just click on them again and then then you have to scan them again uh, but that's fine so so there's that so what she's telling us though is that the mission objective things in tactical view are going to be yellow so we're looking for the special atomite ore and it, you can see it's in yellow it's a asteroid just like these but it's highlighted in yellow because it's part of the mission so if we scan that it'll take a second again further things away for the things that are further away take a little bit longer to scan so and I think I'm pretty sure there's like buffs for that and there's also things you can put on your ship that will make it a little quicker and whatnot but uh, yeah so in general though the further things are away further things are away from your ship then it'll take longer to scan the closer things are to your ship they will be a little quicker anyways so she's just telling us to zoom out and look for this and we already found it so let's do next once you have the target acquired there are a few ways to move your ship to the targets the easiest way to activate active active the easiest way to active your autopilot easiest way to activate active active <laughs> it's oh boy okay um, the easiest way to activate your autopilot is to double click and then any item any from anywhere so basically what she's saying we can double click it here we can double click it here after it's scanned or we can double click it also in this view here so we'll just double click it here in our targeting view and as you can see now our ship is flying towards it and this is autopilot and the autopilot I think I don't know what the key is to open up this this autopilot readout here but this is the autopilot over here you can actually just open and close these with these little uh, triangles on either side um, which is pretty useful as well also you can open and close all of the panels by uh, down here down in the bottom middle here we have um, close all the panels or open all the panels I like them all open so that's usually what I'll have so anyway so we're going we're flying towards the the rock special anime ore and while we're flying there we're going to warm up our miners our mining lasers by just clicking on it and then you can see now they're ready to fire and they have the special anamite ore targeted if you just hover over those you can see what it's targeting all right and uh yeah so uh, she's just telling us about free flight mode here which we already went over and you should be getting close to the yellow rock by now so we're, we, we are definitely getting close and again for, we can do first person here and as soon as we are in range it will start mining now i'm gonna mine the whole thing but we already have enough for our mission objective as you can see we have uh, mission objective complete over here but i'm gonna mine the whole thing because when i go back to the star base or the station we can sell what was uh, the, the stuff that uh, was excess that we didn't need for the mission. All right, so next, 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 next. Okay, we're just gonna get rid of her for now. And I think we're on our own from now on. So what I'm gonna do, um, as you can see, by the way, in the lower left-hand corner here are, <laughs> and this is just, you know, again, warning, be aware of your, your, uh, your life support systems because if they run out it really kind of sucks so we'll find uh, I'll show you how to make them a little bit more robust when we go back to the station but we're going to scan now our station that we just came from and then once we have it scanned we can actually while we're scanning it we can actually go towards it by the way but once we have it scanned it'll show up on our list as the biomate university so we're just going to go there and redock and uh, collect our mission bonuses. So I will be right back. Okay, so now we're close enough to the station to dock. And when you're close enough, you can see that we have a little icon here. And um, once we click that, we can just click it and we're docked. 
All right, so tutorial harvest, uh, so mission complete. We have 16,000 credits and one skill point. And we also have uh, 500 experience points. And that <laughs> Rocky has elevated to level two. So our 500 skill points has, has elevated us to level two. And we also have a Rocky has earned the first mission complete medal. So cool. All right, so Jessa Din, what, what else you got for us here? So great work out there. I was getting a bit worried that I pushed you too hard. Wait until my brother finds out. He thought you wouldn't be able to mine that rock on your own. Now he has to repair my modules. <laughs> um, you probably noticed that all the modules slowly take damage over time. You better keep those puppies in good working order at all times. Nothing like breaking a module during combat. Right. Uh, I'll go over that. That's it's pretty interesting. Um, actually, we'll do that now. Yeah, uh, just once we get done talking to Jessa Din, apparently. Well, that's it for me. I'm afraid Frederick would be here. Will be here in a minute. You can find him in the. Okay, so Frederick has. Okay, so Frederick has um, more stuff that more tutorials, and I invite you to explore them on your own. We're not going to do them. Um, I will kind of go over everything that he would actually say, but uh, he can be found in the offices, and we have some tutorials here that you can actually just go through. I'm not going to do them. Like I said, I just wanted to breeze through these things and get to the gameplay as fast as possible. So here we are. All right. So now, if we go to the garage, we can see that if we click on this, that we have some damage, so we have to repair it. So each time the laser fires or this this thing fires, it takes one damage. And then when you get back to a space station, you can just repair it. And we repair it with the credits here. So that'll take five credits to repair. And there we go. And then we're just gonna go on to our other one here. It should be five as well. And there we go. So they're so they're fully repaired. So again it has, where is it here? Let me see. So durability, five out of 500. So it can fire 500 times before it breaks down. So, and if it breaks down, you have to go to a station and I think repair it or I'm not, yeah, I think you just repair. I've never had one break down. Let's just put it that way. So I think it, I think you keep it, but you just have to repair it. So there's that. All right, so now we have, we've done the mission and we have some atomite ore left over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the refinery and add the atomite ore there and then activate the refinery. Now, refining, refining takes a cost. So it costs money to credits to re refine whatever you're refining, but I have done the calculations. <laughs> and as far as atomite ore, it is definitely worth it. You get, I think what I found is on the average, like 10% more when you refine it and then sell it instead of just taking the atomite ore and selling it before refining it, if that makes sense. So after you refine it, you get whatever comes out of it. So in this particular atomite ore does water, carbon, and, uh, and hydrogen. And then we can just take those and go to the market and sell them. It's very easy to sell things. So all you have to do is you take it from your storage, you click and drag it onto the market and you can see all the stats here and you can confirm sell. And that's it. So you can see where I'm just gonna do that for the rest of the things here. And there we go. So now, like I said, next time we docked, I was going to go over the life support. So let's do that real quick. Now the life support has, you can do a food synthesis and a water filtration, a thermal regulator and a waste management unit. So we have, we start with two of those things. So we start with the food, which is the protein bar, and we can put that in the food synthesis. And you can see that puts up our our life support range. So if we look at this little red bar here down here on our life support, we currently have 17 minutes and three seconds of life support. 
but if we put on like say this basic filter here and put on the waste waste filtration or water filtration excuse me um, that goes up to 19 minutes and 54 seconds so very cool right so the, and then these things have levels as well so these are level ones there's like level twos and level threes so far that i've found i'm sure there there are more levels but i haven't really explored to find any more so there's that we are going to go to the market to get a thermal regulator and a waste management unit to put in these two so let's go do that now let's go directly to the market here now the market for a lot of the stations has a lot of stuff like we have page 105 but we do have these filters up here and we're looking for life support things so there's a life support filter and that's just this cross the circle with a cross in the middle so we can just click on that and then the life support stuff will show up and then we can further refine that by doing it by class level price and quantity so i think class is going to be the easiest one here so protein bar we already have is there any other food things so if we look at this our class is food so if we had any other food things it would be up here near the food here are our thermal class for support so we can buy one of these so we have this one is level three and this one is level one i'd like to buy this one but i don't have enough money so we'll, buy, <laughs> we'll just buy this one so you just click on it and you confirm the price and then we have it so we'll stick that on in just a second we also need the waste management so that should be down here with the w's we have water management and waste management we have only one thing for waste management and it looks an awful lot like diapers just saying <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's that's what that are what those are adult diapers um so we're just gonna buy those we're gonna buy that because that'll that'll help um but if you notice down here we have we already have a water filter we have the basic filter and that's level one but we have an improved filter which is level two so i'm gonna buy that and i'm gonna re replace the other filter so we'll buy that because we do have enough money for that all right so let's go back over to the life support screen and we're gonna take this one off so we don't need that anymore because we have a better filter now again we have 17 minutes and three seconds but if we put on this one so that's level two so that considerably spiked up our time that we can be away from a station by the way every time you go to a station you pay you can pay a station fee uh, but what also happens is your life support your shields and various other things get replenished so your energy gets replenished as well just keep that in mind so now we have the thermal controller so we'll put that on that brought us up another about two minutes there that we can be out in space and we're gonna do the diapers for rocky rocky diapers and uh, yeah so that there so there we go so that's the best we can do at this station for now so which is much better than it was so that's pretty cool right but i think i forget what station it is out in the sector here that we're in but i think there's one that that specializes in life support stuff and we'll we'll find that as well and see if they don't have anything better but for now let's go ahead and look at skills so let's go to the player menu and i think that's l yeah so the l is the player menu and we already have these skills so again we have filters up here if you want to filter what type of skill it is but we already have these so if we want to get more skills well, all we have to do is if the station has a university we can go to the university and here are the skills that the universe at this station offers so the ones in red we can't we can't get so the ones with any red in them so uh, you know the cost and the skill points so we can afford the cost and skill points for this one but we don't have the level so or we don't have the prerequisite so we have these that we can't do at all or these that we have some things but not all things 
But these here with the level one and the cost, so these are the ones that we can actually do. I would like to, I don't know what I want to do first, to be honest with you. I think ship energy systems, maybe like, cause I want to, I want to get the ship to go faster <laughs> cause it is awfully slow at the moment. So, and like the thruster systems and things like that. So, oh, and we can also buy uh, uh, I just, something that just crossed my mind, but we'll do that in a second. But I'd like to maybe do the energy, because this will open up these other ones, I think. So this basic skill, this is a basic skill that will give you the ability to tweak the energy core of the ship, allowing you for to increase the max power of the core that can supply each level of this skill will boost the ship's overall energy capacity. You can train a skill. So I don't know. So we can maybe do that in a little bit. But how about life support? Is there anything in life support that we can do? Drone operation, we definitely don't need that at the moment. How about anything for the pilots, pilot skills? Escort operation, utility ship operation, no. None of those. Let's see what else we got here. Fleet commander, no. By the way, you can have fleets, <laughs> which are pretty cool. Uh, max mission objectives, that's useful, but we don't need it just quite yet. So basically, you can get a, you can get a mission uh, or more missions than one so right now I think we only have one uh, we're able to do one at a time but we can do uh, more with uh, with training up this level here all right so I think I'm going to do I think I'm gonna do yeah I think I'm just gonna do this one here ship energy systems and this will take how long will this take where is it here du -du -du -du. This will take uh, 55 seconds, so not too bad. Now, when you're training up skills, it's faster to train them up while you're sitting at a station, but they will continue to train up if you're out undocked. So just keep that in mind. And I, and I assume that the higher skills are gonna take a lot longer than 55 seconds. So if you're sitting, again, if you're sitting at a station, it, they go a lot faster. All right, so there's that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for missions. I don't think we're going to have too many missions here. We don't have any missions. Okay, so the, what that means is that we're going to have to go out and explore a little bit. So we're going to do that. So let's go and do that. Let's undock. And when I first get to a system, what I like to do is go into tactical mode and then just start pinging everything. So I've already pinged a few things. As you can see, once you ping them and once they're active targets or once they're active targets and you and you mi minimize them, they go into the list. That means um, they that you can just bring them up at any time. So and we can only ping. Uh, we can only have four active tar targets at the same time. So let's ping one, two. And I want to get that station in there to three and four. So now if you try another one, it'll say maximum targets acquired. So we have to wait until these are scanned. And then once they're scanned, again, we can just minimize them and they will just show up on our list. Let's scan that last one. It's almost done. And and there you go. All right, so, and I just kind of like to go throughout the whole system and scan everything. I don't bother with the rocks or the asteroids and the active ships. Again, the active ships are going to be the dots because those don't stay the same. But the things that are the same, like the stations and the gates to other systems, do stay the same. So, and each time you go to that system, the list will pop up again so you know it's in that system pretty quickly all right so there we go so we got a few gates a few things like that so our, our, our list is getting quite long here so what else do we have we have these things in the middle these are kind of utility things I'm not really too sure I haven't really used them yet but uh, we'll scan them and make sure that we have them in our lists. 
and I think we still have the mining lasers on. So let me let me look for while we're doing this. Might as well be mining something. How about this one? So I'm going to double click on that, and it's going to go towards it. And then let's fire up our mining lasers here. Oh, because <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. Nope, didn't want to do that. Let's go back to the... There we go. Alright, so once we get close enough to that asteroid, we should start mining it. And there we go, we're mining it. Alright, so once that is going there, let's go ahead and look at other things we can ping here. And it looks like here's one here that we didn't do. Here's one here that we didn't do. And I think we got pretty good coverage here. Oops, didn't want to go all the way out. Ah, here's a gate we didn't do. And what else do we got here? I think we got most of it. Looks like we got most of it. There may be something that I'm missing here. I'm sure you guys see it and I don't. <laughs> it's, oh, there's one thing right there. No, that's just a ship. Just a ship. Rocky <laughs> has earned the first 100 Anamite Ore Mine Medal. That's another thing. So there's these 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 uh, quests, or not quests, but these, uh, I don't know, whatever they are, for certain amounts of other things that you do in the game. And they give you skill points so you can learn new things as well. So there's a ton of ways to get skill points. So getting doing the quest, doing the missions, and leveling up. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to do it as well, but uh, those are the three main ways that I know. And skill points are super important. Are we full yet? No, we're not full yet. So we're almost full. All right, once we're full, we'll go back to the station and we will refine what we got there. I think we're full now, yeah, we're full now. And by the way, when you have a target active, you can see this out, outward circle here, or this inward circle. That's the damage of the actual target. So, and it'll be green, it'll turn to yellow, and then over here it'll be red, or something like that. All right, so let's go back to the station. And just untarget all those things. There we go. And we are close enough to the station already, so we can just dock with it. And there we go. All right, so let's take our anamite ore, go to the refinery here, and stick it in there. I like to do that as soon as I get to a station because it actually does take a little little while to do. All right, so let's see what we have in missions now that we've pinged everything. Yeah, so we have a few missions now. Um, so the more, I think the more you go explore, the more thing, the more missions you have. So we'll just take another, we'll take a mission I think maybe we'll take this one. Transport a light shipment of eight generic dual 60 millimeter cannons from La Massu Financial in Void Starcross to Star Gypsy Warehouse in Void Starcross. So that's just two places here. So we're going to accept that. And uh, be sure that just gives you a readout here. And again, once you accept the mission, it'll be in your mission briefing over here. And yeah, so there's that. Uh, let's see how our refinery is doing. Looks like it's almost done here. And we can leave this to refine. Like we can just go out of the station then when we come back, it'll still be here waiting for us. Or we can actually export to the storage when complete and that'll export it to the storage of the station. All right, so it's done now. So let's go ahead and sell these things at the market. Oh, that's what I, yeah, I forgot. Um, let's look for a passive unit at the market. So we have, let's see here. So we have, what's, oh, here's the passive unit. So this is the filter for passive units. And we'll do it by class. So what do we want? We want anything that we can afford, <laughs> by the way. Cargo expansion would be really good. Advanced cargo expansion, that's 47,000. Yeah, I think that'll do as good because when we're out mining stuff we can mine more um, so this will do 30 percent 
more to expansion. Uh, 30, it'll expand it to 30% more. So I think we want that one. So let's confirm that. And then go to the garage and let's put it on our ship. So right now we have 310. And with this, brings it up to 403. Very nice. So that's very cool. All right. So let's go ahead and do our mission. Now with the mission, when you're doing it in different galaxies, or different galaxies, different uh, areas on the star map, it will show you on the star map, it will highlight it, but you can see that we're in the same sector, so it'll say just mission sector, so it'll highlight the actual mission here. There are targo toggle, targles. There are toggles up here that will show you different things on the star map as well. And one of them is the missions. So that will show you where the missions are on your star map. Anyways, so let's go ahead and undock. So we want to go to, where do we want to go here? Lemus uh, Financial, Lemus Financial, which is here. So we'll make that an active target and then we'll double click on it and we will go towards it. Now, with, with flying, we have a turbo. <laughs> So right now we're flying without turbo. And as you can see, we're doing uh, 40 some odd. With turbo, which is the caps lock key, by the way. There we go. We have, uh, we, we pretty much doubled it, more than doubled it. So we're going a little bit faster. So we do have a turbo as well. Now that will eat up your energy, by the way. So if you don't have the turbo on, your energy will stay all right, but the turbo will eat up your energy. Also, lasers and beam weapons will also eat up your energy as well. So just be aware of that. Okay, so we're close enough to the station. We can just click on this little thing here. And now we're docked at the station. So now we should have, We should have the things in, oh, here, there. Yeah, so that's in the station storage. So we're just gonna take these things out of the station storage, put them in our cargo bay. By the way, when you take a mission, and I didn't check it this time, but when you check, take a mission, make sure that you have, if there's stuff that you need to transport or stuff like that, or stuff that you need to mine, make sure you have enough cargo space because um, you won't be able to do the mission without it. So, but we do have enough cargo space for this. So now we pick them up. We're going to go and undock. And we're looking for the Star Gypsy Warehouse. So we're going to, there it is, Star Gypsy Warehouse. Double click on it and we will uh, go towards it. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out too is we have an auto dock and an auto warp. So when you're next to a gate, if you have the auto warp on, it will actually warp without you having to press anything or click anything to the next thing. And if you have the auto dock on, when you're close enough to a station that you're approaching, you will just auto dock without having to press that little round auto dock key. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's turn on our turbos here. Didn't, didn't realize we don't have them on. Again, this is why I want the skills to make the ship faster. And once you have sh the skills to make ships faster, it will translate to all other ships, I'm pretty sure. So it won't just be this ship that we're making faster, but it, it can be awfully slow getting around at first, so just be aware of that. All right, so now well, we have the auto dock on. We should, once we get close enough, we should auto dock. And there we go, voila. All right, and labor contract mission complete, and we got 3,331 credits three skill points very nice and uh, we gained 500 experience points so very cool now when I'm in a station and this is the last thing I'll just kind of go over with this is that I do like to look at the university to see what skills they have um, I also like to look at the market because in the market they will have different things at different stations so just I like to explore when I'm exploring I like to look at like what these stations have. Now, I don't remember which one had the best uh, life support stuff, but let's look at the life support here, see if we can improve that a little bit. So we still have disposable, but we do have some noodles. 
and we do have an advanced filter for water which is good uh, we cannot afford that we can't afford the noodles as well so there's that so we can't oh the waste processor yeah we're we're, we're kind of low on funds here so <laughs> when i bought that passive unit uh, that really kind of put a ding in our in our ability to buy other things it's fine it's good but it's good to know that we have some other better options here all right so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to undock here and we're going to find the closest rock and we are going to mine it so this big one over here looks just fine so let's go over there and mine that rock and we can close some of these actives and let's fire up our mining lasers you can also fire them up all at the same time with this button here and once we get close enough we will start mining and now that we have a bigger cargo bay or the ability to have more in our cargo bay with that passive module we will have more stuff to bring back and uh, refine all right so i'm going to leave it there guys and in the next episode we're going to definitely explore a lot more because we got a lot of places to go and uh, a lot of things to do so yeah so i hope you guys like it and if you do give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you already haven't and uh, you will be notified when there are more episodes of Astrox Imperium and also anything else that I'm putting up. So, again, if you guys like this, please put comments down and react in the, in the, in the comments and let me know. Because I would really like to put uh, a longer series up with Astrox Imperium. So, I, I really like this game. I think it's a good complement to the, uh, the other games I play like Avorian, because this one is is out in space as well and there's a little bit of mining and, and a few other things but i think the similarities kind of kind of deviate there i think Avorian is a completely different game than this but i think this is a good complement to it because it is just something that's cool and out in space and kind of kind of scratches that itch for me so anyways but uh yeah so thanks for coming along for the ride guys and i will see you next time bye for now mm -hmm.